Hello, I'm Tom Fletcher, one of the developers of Groundhog, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a text box into an annotation layer and style it in Groundhog Professional. And with that, let's get in. So, here I've already opened a new map window and I'm ready to get going. So the first step is to zoom into the area that you want to work in. Then you can either right click in the white space in the layer control or you can click the add layers button and select create new layer. Select annotation layer, give it a name and then make it active in the layer control. We can see the palette up here and to place a text box we want the first item also known as a label. We click this tool to make it active and then click where we want in the map to place it. There's a prompt comes up to add some text so I'll add some text click OK and a text box has come in. If you want to add another one whilst the tool's still active you can do that straight away add some more text. The text you add can be as long or as short as you like. Now if we want to edit these then we need to turn off or deactivate the label tool then click whichever box we want to edit. So I'm going to go for some text. By clicking it, it makes it active. You can see this because the nodes appear around the outside. We can see the styling button appear here, the rotation button, and this works much the same as Word. You can drag anywhere in the box to move it around, resize with the corners, and of course the sides as well, and then rotate with this small dot at the top. To style this text box, what we can do is we click the style button here and a new dialog opens. Here we can see the text entry field at the top, the little clear button, align buttons which all work in real time, aligning te text left, right and center, and there's an apply font button. So when we change the font, which I'll show you now, we get a little preview down at the bottom here in the sample and then we want, when we want to apply it to the text box just click apply font and the font is immediately applied. Like I said this is the text editing field so currently it says some text and then we can add more. We'll take it away. The other styling options we have in this box is line styling. This is for the outline of the box. And we can pick a selection of defaults here each one changing the pattern around the box in the map window. You can also change the line width or weight with this spinner, type in your own or choose what the ends of the lines look like. So if I select round and make it slightly thicker we can see that they're rounded on the end there and square squares them off, flat makes them shorter. Next we have colours. This is for fill, line colour and font colour and I'll go through each of those individually. So the fill colour, set that to cyan. Now we have an option of no fill down here if you want it transparent but I'm going to stick with the blue. I don't want an outline so I am going to click no line this time and there it goes transparent. And the last one is font colour. So this is currently black try and pick something that's visible on the blue background. 
perhaps just a dark blue and apply. Now we've got dark blue and light blue. We can also change the transparency of the fill for the text box with the slider. The final options at the bottom here are for specific uh, location measurements. So width and height you can set explicitly to a particular size, the X and Y location of the center of the box, or the rotation. So if I wanted it at exactly 90 degrees, I can simply type 90, click enter, and the box is rotated 90 degrees. The same with 270. And if we want, all the way back to zero. When we're done editing the particular text box, we can just click away or click on another text box. And that will finish our editing. I hope this has helped. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.